सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ईयर स्ट्रक्चर एंड फंक्शन ऑफ ईयर सो ईयर इज सेंसरी ऑर्गन एंड इट इज कॉल्ड स्टेटो एकोस्टिक ऑर्गन स्टेटो एकोस्टिक ऑर्गन बिकॉज ईयर हैज टू फंक्शंस हियरिंग एंड इक्विलिब्रियम ईयर हैज टू फंक्शंस हियरिंग एंड इक्विलिब्रियम एंड हेंस ईयर इज कॉल्ड स्टेटो एकोस्टिक ऑर्गन ईयर कंसिस्ट ऑफ थ्री पार्ट्स एक्सटर्नल ईयर मिडल ईयर एंड इनर ईयर ईयर कंसिस्ट ऑफ थ्री पार्ट्स एक्सटर्नल ईयर मिडल ईयर एंड इनर ईयर सो लेट मी ड्रॉ द डायग्राम ऑफ ईयर एंड लेट मी शो दिस थ्री पार्ट्स ऑफ ईयर in the diagram so this is ear pinna it is a part of external ear it leads to auditory canal or auditory meatus which ends into a membrane that is tympanic membrane or eardrum tympanic membrane or eardrum this is external ear first we will discuss external ear so this much part of ear is external ear this is external ear and external ear consist of three parts this is pinna this is auditory canal or auditory meatus and this is ear drum this is ear drum or tympanum so these three parts are included in external ear external ear consist of pinna pinna leads to a canal and this is called auditory canal and auditory canal ends into a membrane and that membrane is called ear drum or tympanum so external ear consist of pinna pinna is the external part of ear and in case of human being it is immovable it is immovable it is immovable and it is supported by elastic cartilage pinna is supported by elastic cartilage pinna collects pinna collects sound waves pinna collects sound waves pinna collects sound waves and sends sound waves to auditory canal okay right 
so this is pinna pinna is the part of external layer and it is immovable in case of human being but in case of other mammals that is in dog and uh, cattle it is movable for the better reception of sound waves but in case of human being it is immovable so but it uh, it is supported by elastic cartilage and it collects sound waves and send that sound waves to auditory canal so what is the function of pinna collect sound waves and send them to auditory canal then pinna leads to auditory canal so this is auditory canal so next part of external ear is auditory canal auditory canal or auditory meatus auditory meatus or auditory canal uh, see it is a long tube like structure and uh, it <coughs> leads to uh, <coughs> membrane that is tympanic membrane or <coughs> sorry eardrum auditory canal auditory canal leads to eardrum eardrum is also called tympanic membrane it is also called tympanic membrane okay this auditory canal auditory canal transfers sound waves transfers sound waves to eardrum auditory canal transfers sound waves uh, transfers sound waves to eardrum so the path of sound waves from from ear pinna to eardrum through auditory canal next point skin of auditory canal skin of auditory canal and ear pinna has or it's covered by numerous numerous soft hairs skin of auditory canal and ear pinna is covered by numerous soft hairs and skin of auditory canal and pinna contain wax secreting wax secreting sebaceous glands sebaceous glands sebaceous glands are also called wax glands any difficulty understand right so skin of auditory canal and skin of external ear pinna has a numerous soft hairs and numerous wax secreting sebaceous glands that is wax gland and that's why this auditory canal is uh, sometime has wax deposit like this okay so this wax what is the function of this wax this wax prevent entry of uh, uh, dust particles and microorganism inside the ear and next is the middle ear next part of ear is middle ear middle ear is present between external ear and inner ear 
सो मिडल ईयर मिडल ईयर इज एक्चुअली एयर फील्ड कैविटी एंड इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ थ्री बोन्स नो वी लेफ्ट दिस पार्ट दिस इज इयर ड्रम सो वन पार्ट ऑफ एक्सटर्नल ईयर इज रिमेनिंग एंड दैट इज इयर ड्रम इयर ड्रम और टिम्पेनिक मेम्रेन और टिम्पेनम इयर ड्रम इट इज मेम्ब्रेन और इट इज अ इट इज पार्टीशन बिट्वीन एक्सटर्नल इयर एंड मिडल इयर मिडल इयर इज सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम एक्सटर्नल इयर बाय दिस पार्टीशन दैट इज इयर ड्रम और टिम्पेनम सो इयर ड्रम और टिम्पेनम गेट वाइब्रेट्स आफ्टर रिसीविंग साउंड वेव्स इयर ड्रम इट इज मेडअप ऑफ कनेक्टिव टिश्यू इट इज मेडअप ऑफ कनेक्टिव टिश्यू and uh, externally uh, it is covered by skin externally it is covered by skin and internally it has mucus so uh, ear drum is made up of connective tissue and externally it is covered by skin and internally it has mucus so ear drum what is the function of ear drum ear drum get vibrate get vibrates after receiving sound waves and ear drum or tympanum transmit sound waves from external ear to the middle ear what is the function of ear drum ear drum vibrates after receiving sound waves and ear drum uh, transmits sound waves from external ear to the middle ear external ear get separated from middle ear by this ear drum and next part of uh, ear is middle ear middle ear is air filled cavity it consist of three uh, series of three bones and that three bones are called ear ossicles so see this is this bone this is malleus what is the name of this bone this is malleus malleus is also called hammer and this malleus gets get attached to another bone that is incus so this is incus this is incus <coughs> incus it is called anvil <coughs> and the smallest bone in this series is stapes or steps okay any difficulty so this is malleus m for malleus this is incus and this is stapes so this is stapes is called stirrup so these three bones are collectively called ear ossicles these three bones are collectively called ear ossicles and the smallest bone in our body is stapes it is smallest bone in our body so middle ear consists of three these three bones and uh, along with these three bones there is a canal 
this canal is called eustachian canal this is eustachian canal eustachian canal and this eustachian canal open into the pharynx it open into the pharynx so in this way <coughs> middle ear consists of these three parts the three bones along with this eustachian canal and this is air filled uh, cavity so uh, this is the structure of middle ear middle ear is air filled cavity it consists of series of three bones and that three bones are called ear ossicles and names of that three bones are malleus incus and stapes malleus is called hammer incus is called anvil and stapes is called stirrup so um, this is eustachian canal eustachian canal open into the pharynx it open into the pharynx uh, when this ear drum receives sound waves it get vibrates then that vibrations are transmit that vibrations are transmit to malleus from malleus to incus and from incus to stapes so what is the function of these three ear ossicles that three ear ossicles um, get vibrated get vibrates after receiving sound waves from the ear drum means that three ear ossicles amplifies sound waves these three uh, ear ossicles by vibration uh, by vibrating they amplifies sound waves that coming from the external ear and these three ear ossicles transmits sound waves from external ear to the inner ear these three ear ossicles transmit sound waves from external ear to the inner ear again middle ear is a air filled cavity it is present between external ear and inner ear it consists of three small bones and that three small bones collectively called ear ossicles these three small bones are malleus see malleus is attached to ear drum then another uh, bone in this series is incus which is attached to malleus and then third bone that is stapes stapes is the smallest bone in our body and it is also called stirrup incus is called anvil and malleus is called hammer so uh, these three ear ossicles get vibrate after receiving sound waves from the external ear why these three bones vibrate because of uh, their attachment to the ear drum ear drum vibrates and therefore malleus vibrate and therefore incus vibrates and that vibration are transmitted to stapes in this way these three ear ossicles vibrates and after their vibrations sound waves get amplifies means this th these three ear ossicles amplifies sound waves and these three ear ossicles transmit sound waves from external ear to inner ear then this eustachian canal open into pharynx means eustachian canal connect pharynx to the middle ear so what is the function of eustachian canal eustachian canal open into the pharynx and pharynx open into mouth okay eustachian canal <coughs> maintain equal pressure it maintain equal pressure on both the sides of ear drum equal pressure on both the sides of ear drum okay because uh, air can come from external ear and air can come from eustachian canal eustachian canal and therefore eustachian canal help to maintain equal pressure on both the sides of ear drum any difficulty ear drum dekhiye ear drum um, jo hai 
एयर ड्रम आप देख सकते हो यहाँ एक्सपोज है एयर ड्रम है ना एयर ड्रम की जो ए साइज है जो दैट फेसिंग टुवर्ड्स एक्सटर्नल एयर इज एक्सपोज दैट गेट एक्सपोज मीन्स यहाँ से एयर जा सकती है है ना अगर यहाँ बंद होता तो क्या होता एयर अगर एयर से ये जो एयर ड्रम है एक ही साइड का प्रेशर बढ़ता था एयर ड्रम के ऊपर तो इसका शेप चेंज हो सकता था समझ में आया ना अगर यह बंद होता तो क्या होता था एयर का प्रेशर यहाँ से ज़्यादा होने की वजह से एयर ड्रम का शेप चेंज हो सकता था जिसमें हियरिंग में प्रॉब्लम आ सकता था इसलिए एयर ड्रम का जो बैक साइड है बैक साइड से भी एयर ड्रम के बैक साइड से भी क्या हो रहा एयर आ रही और फ्रंट से भी क्या हो रहा एयर आ रही मतलब दोनों तरफ से एयर का प्रेशर क्या है इक्वल है दैट मेंटेन द शेप ऑफ एयर ड्रम एनी डिफिकल्टी सो यूस्टेशियन कैन ऑल मेंटेन इक्वल प्रेशर ऑन बोथ दी साइड्स ऑफ एयर ड्रम एनी डिफिकल्टी नाउ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ ह्यूमन ईयर एंड दैट इज इंटरनल ईयर और इनर ईयर इंटरनल इनर ईयर कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू पार्ट्स वेस्टिबुलर एपरेटस एंड लेबरिन सो इनर ईयर कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू पार्ट्स वेस्टिबुलर एपरेटस एंड लेबरिन सो This is malleus, okay. This is incus, and this is stapes. So here, vestibular apparatus is present, and below that vestibular apparatus, a coiled structure is present that is called cochlea. Okay. So vestibular apparatus consists of three semi-circular canals. This is one semicircular canal, ampulla. Another semicircular canal, and uh, this is also a semicircular canal. so this three semicircular canals are there and actually this is vestibular apparatus this is vestibular apparatus and coiled portion of this vestibular apparatus is called cochlea it is called cochlea so this is cochlea two windows are there oval window and राउंड विंडो सो दिस इज कॉकलिया सो दिस इज कॉकलिया स्नेल हाँ This is cochlea, auditory nerve. So, <coughs> inner ear consists of two parts. Inner ear consists of two parts. Number one, vestibular apparatus. vestibular apparatus 
एंड नंबर टू लैबरिंथ इनर ईयर कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू पार्ट्स वेस्टिबुलर एपरेटस एंड लैबरिंथ ओके सो दिस इज वेस्टिबुलर एपरेटस एंड दिस इज लैबरिंथ ओके सो वेस्ट लैबरिंथ is bony labyrinth and membranous labyrinth inner ear consists of two parts vestibular apparatus and labyrinth so this part of inner ear is vestibular apparatus and this coiled part of inner ear is labyrinth okay any difficulty so vestibular apparatus <coughs> we will discuss this vestibular apparatus later now we will discuss labyrinth okay labyrinth isko mita deti hu kyunki thodi der ke baad draw karti hu isko pehle hum labyrinth ko samajh lenge ye labyrinth jo hai labyrinth <coughs> labyrinth consist of bony labyrinth एंड मेम्ब्रेनस लैबरिंथ लैबरिंथ कंसिस्ट ऑफ बोनी लैबरिंथ एंड मेम्ब्रेनस लैबरिंथ सो इफ दिस इज बोनी लैबरिंथ इफ दिस इज बोनी लैबरिंथ then this is membranous labyrinth okay bony labyrinth is filled with bony labyrinth is filled with perilymph bony labyrinth is filled with perilymph and membranous labyrinth is filled with yes endolymph means internal ear or inner ear is fluid filled structure inner ear is fluid filled filled structure okay so labyrinth is the one part of inner ear and another part is vestibular apparatus labyrinth consists of two parts bony labyrinth and membranous labyrinth bony labyrinth is filled with perilymph and membranous labyrinth is filled with endolymph any difficulty and cochlea कॉकलिया इज कॉइल्ड पार्ट ऑफ कॉकलिया इज कॉइल्ड पार्ट ऑफ लैबरिंथ इट इज कॉइल्ड पार्ट ऑफ लैबरिंथ कॉकलिया इज कॉइल्ड पार्ट ऑफ लैबरिंथ सो दिस इज वेस्टिबुलर एपरेटस दिस इज वेस्टिबुलर एपरेटस vestibular apparatus is the part of inner ear and this is this is labyrinth this is labyrinth labyrinth is the coiled part of labyrinth is the coiled part of uh, sorry cochlea is the coiled part of labyrinth <coughs> so this is labyrinth and labyrinth is coiled part of cochlea coiled part uh, cochlea is coiled part of labyrinth it consists of three chambers it consists of three chambers okay it consists of three chambers 1 2 and 3 internally it consists of three chambers 1 2 and 3 if we cut the labyrinth then we can see inside the labyrinth there is three chambers 1 2 and 3 these three chambers are separated by two membranes so this membrane is resner's membrane this membrane is resner's membrane 
and this membrane is basilar membrane this membrane is basilar membrane any difficulty beta see here so see this is the part of cochlea how many chambers are there 1 2 and 3 so this chambers are separated from each other by two membranes this membrane is resner's membrane this is resner's membrane and this membrane this membrane is basilar membrane it is basilar membrane any difficulty and two chem there are three chambers this this chamber is called scala vestibuli why it is called scala vestibuli because it is towards vestibular apparatus it is upper chamber it is called scala vestibuli and this is called scala tympani scala tympani this is called scala tympani and this is the scala media this is scala media we will discuss this in detail that is cochlea so cochlea is the coiled part of labyrinth and cochlea consists of two membranes and three chambers three, two membranes and three chambers this membrane is this membrane is resner's membrane resner's membrane okay this is resner's membrane and this membrane is basilar membrane this is basilar membrane this two chamber this this two membranes divides cavity of cochlea into three chambers two membranes three chambers 1 2 and 3 this chamber is called scala vestibuli this is scala vestibuli this is scala tympani this is scala tympani and the middle is called scala media scala media okay scala vestibuli and scala tympani is filled with perilymph here there is a perilymph in scala vestibuli and scala tympani there is perilymph these are filled with perilymph but scala media is filled with endolymph it is filled with endolymph okay so cochlea is like this coiled structure and internally it is uh, it consists of two membranes and three chambers this is scala vestibuli this is scala media this is scala tympani and scala vestibuli and scala tympani filled with perilymph and scala media filled with endolymph any difficulty so again this membrane is resner's membrane resner's membrane okay and this is basilar membrane this is basilar membrane basilar membrane consists of a sensory organ sensory part and that is called organ of corti basilar membrane this is basilar membrane and on this basilar membrane organ of corti is present organ of corti 
बेसिलर मेम्ब्रेन कंसिस्ट ऑफ ऑर्गन ऑफ कॉर्टी और ऑर्गन ऑफ कॉर्टी इज रेस्टिंग ऑन बेसिलर मेम्ब्रेन ऑर्गन ऑफ कॉर्टी इज ट्रांसड्यूसर इट एक्ट एज अ इट इज ट्रांसड्यूसर ट्रांसड्यूसर मीन्स दैट पार्ट विच कन्वर्ट वन फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी इन टू अनादर फॉर्म सो ऑर्गन ऑफ कॉर्टी कैन कन्वर्ट साउंड एनर्जी इन टू इम्पल्सिस ऑर्गन ऑफ कॉर्टी कंसिस्ट ऑफ सेंसरी इपिथेलियम इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ सेंसरी इपिथेलियम ऑर्गन ऑफ कॉर्टी कंसिस्ट ऑफ सी दिस इज बेसमेंट मेम्रेन सो इपिथेलियल टिश्यू इज ऑलवेज रेस्टिंग ऑन बेसमेंट मेम्रेन इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ बेसमे बेसमेंट मेम्रेन एंड ऑन दिस बेसमेंट मेम्रेन सेंसरी इपिथेलियम इज देयर सो दिस इज सेंसरी इपिथेलियम एंड दिज आर न्यूक्लिया ऑर्गन ऑफ कॉर्टी कंसिस्ट ऑफ सेंसरी इपिथेलियम ऑर्गन ऑफ कॉर्टी कंसिस्ट ऑफ सेंसरी इपिथेलियम ओके सो दिस सेंसरी सेल्स इन द सेंसरी इपिथेलियम सेंसरी सेल्स आर देयर सो सेंसरी सेल हैज वन फ्री एंड and another end is resting on basement membrane so this is free end of sensory cells and this end of sensory cell is resting on basement membrane free end of sensory free end of sensory cell has hair like structures hair like structure and hence this sensory cell and this sensory cell is also called hair cell why sensory cell is called hair cell because of uh, presence of hair like projections hair like projections sensory cell is called hair cells so this is the row of hair cell and in, in between this row of hair cells uh, some supporting cells are there okay so between this sensory hair cells supporting cells are also there so see this is a uh, sensory cell or this is sensory epithelium in the sensory epithelium sensory cells are there and it the, that sensory cells are also called hair cell why because of presence of hair like uh, projections or hair like uh, processes which are originate from their free end so see these are hair like processes okay these are hair like processes so these uh, hair like processes or microvilli hair like processes or microvilli, microvilli are also called stereocilia these are also called stereocilia these hairs or microvilli these hairs or microvilli these microvilli are very stiff these hairs or microvilli are also called stereocilia these are called stereocilia and these stereocilia it is covered by a membrane it is covered by a membrane and this membrane is it is gel like membrane and it is tectorial membrane it is tectorial membrane it is tectorial membrane any difficulty beta so inner ear consist of two parts number 1 vestibular apparatus and number 2 labyrinth labyrinth consist of bony labyrinth and membranous labyrinth bony labyrinth is filled with perilymph and membranous labyrinth is filled with endolymph okay so this um, cochlea is a coiled part of labyrinth and cochlea consist of two membranes number one is resner's membrane and another is basilar membrane these two membranes divide the cavity of cochlea into three chambers this upper chamber is scala vestibuli 
मिडल चेम्बर इज स्केला मीडिया एंड दिस लोअर चेम्बर इज स्केला टिम्पैनी स्केला वेस्टिबुला एंड स्केला टिम्पैनी इज फिल्ड विथ पेरी लिम्प एंड स्केला मीडिया इज फिल्ड विथ एंडोलिम्प सो बेसिलर मेम्ब्रेन हैव अ सेंसरी स्ट्रक्चर एंड दैट इज ऑर्गन ऑफ क्वालिटी ऑर्गन ऑफ क्वालिटी रेस्टिंग ऑन बेसिलर मेम्ब्रेन एंड ऑर्गन ऑफ क्वालिटी कंसिस्ट ऑफ सेंसरी एपिथेलियम एंड सेंसरी एपिथेलियम रेस्टिंग ऑन बेसमेंट मेम्ब्रेन सेंसरी एपिथेलियम कंसिस्ट ऑफ रो ऑफ सेंसरी सेल्स रो ऑफ सेंसरी सेल्स सो ईच सेंसरी सेल्स हैव हेयर लाइक प्रोजेक्शंस हैव हेयर लाइक प्रोजेक्शंस एनी डिफिकल्टी सो हेयर लाइक प्रोजेक्शंस आर प्रेजेंट ऑन द फ्री एंड ऑफ सेंसरी सेल सो ईच सेंसरी सेल हैज हेयर लाइक प्रोजेक्शन ऑन देअर फ्री एंड एंड हेन्स सेंसरी सेल इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड हेयर सेल इन बिट्वीन हेयर सेल सपोर्टिंग सेल्स आर ऑल्सो देअर सो दीज आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड दीज हेयर लाइक प्रोजेक्शंस आर ऑल्सो दीज आर स्टिफ दीज आर कॉल्ड माइक्रोविलाय और स्टीरियोसिलिया और स्टीरियोसिलिया एंड दिस स्टीरियोसिलिया इज कवर्ड बाय जेली लाइक मेम्ब्रेन एंड दैट मेम्ब्रेन इज कॉल्ड टेक्टोरियल मेम्ब्रेन इट इज कॉल्ड टेक्टोरियल मेम्ब्रेन ऑर्गन ऑफ क्वालिटी इज ट्रांसड्यूसर बिकॉज इट कन्वर्ट साउंड एनर्जी इन टू इम्पल्स सो इफ वी टेक क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ कॉकलिया देन हाउ इट विल एपियर क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ कॉकलिया क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ कॉकलिया सेक्शन ऑफ कॉकलिया so this is section of cochlea it consists of uh, two membranes this is this is resner's membrane and this is this is basilar membrane this is scala vestibuli this is scala media uh, organ of cord is present in the scala media this is scala media which is filled with endolymph and what about scala vestibuli and scala tympani which fluid is present in the scala vestibuli and scala tympani perilim scala no this is scala tympani scala tympani scala tympani scala tympani this is scala vestibuli and here this is optic nerve sorry this is this is auditory nerve this is auditory nerve okay and organ of cordy is present here so this is organ of cordy which is covered by pectorial membrane and uh, see here neurons are there nerve fibers 